Okay, this is it. I think I got it. I think I figured out the lighting and the camera. Gosh, it's been so long since I've actually filmed a video. It's been four years. Well, no, I've filmed some videos since then, but I haven't actually posted any because, I don't know, I went through this really bad phase of like, being really insecure and unsure of myself and kind of fearing the internet. All right, let's jump right into it, my everyday makeup look. First, I clip back my hair because I really hate getting foundation in my hair, which I always do for some reason. So yeah, you're just gonna clip it back and then you're gonna moisturize and make sure you put on sunscreen because Botox are expensive. So um, I put on CeraVe Moisturizer Plus Retinol with SPF in it. It's good. I like it. It's really lightweight. It feels really good. It doesn't have any color in it. Um, so some things have changed from my old routine, but honestly not a lot. So every day I typically choose between either this Fenty foundation, which is a little thicker than this one, which I'm going to use today, which is the Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation in the shade N35. And I still use a beauty blender to put it on. That's something that hasn't changed. Um, so I just go ahead and I squirt a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I start by taking my finger. And I'm going to be looking in a mirror over here. So um, I go ahead, put it all over my face. I might need more. I wonder what it looks like on camera. I feel like it's going to look like it doesn't match. I'm really bad about that. Like my skin tone changes constantly because I go from being in the sun to not being in the sun and sometimes I'm yellow and sometimes I'm pink and whatever. I just go with it. So yeah, I just kind of dab it all over my face. And then I take my beauty blender. Oh my god, I look like a crazy person. Um, I take my beauty blender and I just blend it in. I know there's a lot of things since four years ago when I filmed my last makeup video. I feel like a lot of people have stopped using beauty blenders. <gasps> Oh my god, why do I look like a ghost? I swear, in the mirror, it doesn't look like that. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, maybe I just need a blend. See, this is, this is what happens. This is why I haven't posted a video, because I just never like the process. But you know what they say. Trust the process, right? Trust the process. Well, that's huge in makeup, I feel. Because... You ever gone to like MAC and gotten your makeup done and you see yourself like halfway through that process and you're just like, who is she? Like, they do your makeup so heavy, I guess you could say, and it's so dramatic, at least for me, because like I don't really do dramatic makeup often, if ever. So whenever I get my makeup done at MAC, I freak out. and. Now I'm freaking out right now. So, it's fine. Everything's fine. We're just gonna go with it. Um, it might be this ring light thing. I never get ready with a ring light. Maybe this is showing me what my makeup really looks like. Look, I'm not a makeup artist. And I'm just doing this because I think it's fun. And I don't know about you, but every morning when I'm getting ready and I'm doing my makeup, I talk to myself in the mirror. And I'm like, okay. And today, you know what I mean. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. So something I do. Okay. I think we are blended. And I think I still look like a ghost. Also, I look like 50 shades of beige. Bad choice, but we're gonna go with it. I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna let it happen, you know? Trust the process, I guess. <laughs> okay. It's alright. Everything's fine. I can't tell if it's focused or not. It's fine. Okay. Foundation done. That only took way longer than I thought. Now, I think I used this in my last one. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. Uh, it's still my go-to. I just... I'm going to be totally honest. I'm not going to try to be like perfect with this video because it's called Every Day. And every day, I'm not Kylie Jenner, only on the weekends, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I do this, put it under my eyes, a little on my forehead, 
I try to cover up my mustache. Um, and then I blend that in. Same way. I just literally beat my face. Remember when we always say that? Like, oh, look at her beat. Look at her beat. I feel like that died. What's the new thing? Now it's like, err, err. Everyone's doing that. I kind of do it sometimes too, not gonna lie. So, so much has happened in four years. So much has happened in one year, but it's just been four years since I've been on here. But, wow. What a year. It's been crazy. Um, pandemic, hello. Election year, hello. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? Has anyone had any crazy things? I got, I got laid off from my job, but I got a new one, so it's all right. But, um, yeah. All right, after the uh, concealer, I also still, I guess not much has changed at all. I still use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't know, I feel like, how do you level up from this? Do you? I think not. I put it in the cap and then I dab it with my uh, blender and then I dab it on my face. Um, I put it where I had the concealer. See? I'm trying to show you but make sure I'm doing a good job because again, I'm not a professional even though sometimes I think I am. Clearly not. Alright, so now I'm setting the, the concealer. Hopefully it works. I hope it looks good on camera. Don't really know. We're just gonna go with it. Um, then I, I'm going to bronze. Now, this, I posted about this on my Instagram story because I really like it, so I'm excited to use it in a video. But this is the, oh my god, there's the hair in it. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's really creamy and gorgeous, and it says Chanel, which is just like so cool. Um, then I get this brush. I got this brush set on Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, I just rub it around the pot, and then I contour where the top of my ear is down, like so. I hope this looks okay on camera. I'm scared. Look so intense from here on the viewfinder, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Then, um, okay, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, so this bronzer, it's really good. It's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. I used to use uh, powder only, but as time's gone on, I've realized throughout the day, especially since I'm in Florida, it's hot. And the powder just doesn't last. I also have dry skin, like really dry skin. So the powder's not good. It doesn't stay on my face. I feel like it just flakes off. Or if I am really dry, it makes me look more dry. Which no one likes a girl who's dry. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so um, I do it on my forehead because I try to make my forehead look smaller because no one likes a big forehead. And then... Um, there, there, there. You know, simple, easy. It's great. Okay, now from there, what do I do next? Oh, eyebrows. So I have this eyebrow brush that I got from, oh my gosh, what's it called? The, uh, the place. Oh yeah, European Wax Center. It's where I get my eyebrows done. So the girl that does my eyebrows, which as you can tell, I haven't had them done in a long time because she actually quit. So I haven't had my eyebrows done in about two months, but I still use the pencil that I bought there that she uses on me whenever I get them waxed. So I'm gonna do that. So I create small brush strokes, brush strokes for the tail with this. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Okay, um, yeah. I just go heavy on the tail and then the rest of it I fill in with powder. Can you see that? the small baby strokes in the tail same on the other side I have a scar on this side too you probably can't see it but of course I notice it and um, it's hard to fill in hair doesn't grow in that one spot so I have to go in with the pencil just to the tails okay so I do the tails with the pencil because it's more you know fill in the blank and then I grab this brow powder that I got from a threading place 
I don't really know where to get it, unfortunately. Any of those uh, eyebrows writing places typically carry it because I know other people have been to other ones and they have the same stuff. But nothing compares for me. I'm pretty sure I used it in my video four years ago too, so that just shows you how much I love it because I've been using it for four years. So then I just go ham because I have really fine hair on my eyebrows. Go ahead, fill those in. Love that. Yep. You know, I've noticed too, it's really trendy for girls to like brush their eyebrows up right now. But my eyebrow hair is just naturally really short. So that doesn't, that doesn't work for me. I just, it looks really funny on me. I can't do it. If you can do it, I'm jealous of you. But I just work with what I got. So, yep. Here we go. There. Then I take my spoolie from the pencil and I brush that up a little bit. Make it blend more. Sometimes I rub it with my finger because I did too much at the top. I feel like the eyebrows just have like an ombre effect. It should look less prominent here and then get darker as it goes that way to the tail. As far as YouTube goes, that's what I've learned. So yeah. Now I'm going to do the other one, same way. Just fill it in. Oh my god, you see what I mean? Like sometimes when I'm doing it, I just have to work with it. Because I'll make it way too dark in one spot. So then I'll just have to just figure it out. Just handle it. No. So anyways, I was wondering if anyone had any crazy stories to tell about um, this year. If anything super dramatic has happened in your life, please tell me because I love reading about people's problems. That sounds so toxic. It's fine though. I like it. I like knowing what happens. I like to know that people's lives aren't as perfect as they are perceived because See, that is something I have struggled with and a reason that I didn't post so much or follow through with YouTubing and stuff because I felt like everything was a facade. Everything's so fake. We all act like we're so perfect and our life is so great and I know that's totally cliche and everyone says that, right? Yeah. But it's true. Like, people seriously are out here making me feel some type of way. I mean, that's my own fault for comparing myself, of course. But sometimes it's just reassuring. I love when people are totally transparent online and they tell you how it is and they tell you about the things going on. Like, yes, overshare. Tell me what's going on because social media has become such a large part of life and we all look at it almost every day. I mean, especially if you're on YouTube right now. So don't you want to know, like, what's going on in her life or his life? All right, next, I go on with the NYX, the stuff... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ah, okay, there it is. Control Freak. It's an eyebrow gel. I used to use the Anastasia one, which I still like it, but this stuff does the exact same thing for less than half the price. So now that I've gotten older and um, I don't get to live off of mommy and daddy, I, you know, I'm trying to be smarter with my money. But then again, here I am telling you to invest in stuff like this, but I'm like, see, it's all about compromise, sacrifice. Anyways, after that, what do I do? Oh, yeah. I still have this from, I don't even know how long ago. As you can see, it's super used, but it lasted a long time and it's still going strong. So then I'm going to grab like a fluffy brush for the crease. I use that middle brown in the Anastasia contour palette. And then I just blend it into my crease because I feel like it's natural and it's pretty and you can't go wrong with it. I mean, especially if you're dark hair, dark eyes like me, you can never go wrong with brown. Look at me, I clearly love the neutrals. So, yeah, super easy, I do it. I make it as easy as I can. And I try to do my makeup as fast as I can, too. Um, yeah, that's it. Then I go in with this Physician's Formula. I got it at CVS. 
It's this shimmery palette. You can get it there or online or on Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. But I take my finger and I go on this, this color right here. It doesn't have a name. Um, it's the big one in the middle. And I use my finger and I simply tap it on the inner corner and middle of my eyelid. And then I go on with another finger to try to blend it out. And it just adds the perfect amount of sparkle. I like glittery, sparkly, dewy. I used to be really obsessed with that matte look, which I've grown out of. Since I do have dry skin, it just doesn't really work for me. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just brown and... Oh no, it's not focused. <laughs> Focus! Okay, yeah. Brown and sparkly. i clean it up a little bit with this. Next thing I do, I use this Revlon Colorstay Mineral Finishing Powder. It's like really shimmery, it kind of looks like a bronzer, but I use it as a blush in this Real Techniques brush. And then I go like this on my nose and like this because I feel like it just wow, makes me look so sparkly there. But every time I do this, which is almost every day, people are like, oh my gosh, you're glowing. Like, what is that? It looks so good. Yeah, it's $4 Revlon shimmery bronzer powder. It says all over enhancing color. I like it though. And you know, the nose thing, it's really in. That's something I didn't used to do that I like to do now. I usually take my beauty blender too, because I'm always like freaked out when I first put the makeup on. I'm like, whoa, like who is that? But it works out. Then I go in, I used to use white eyeliner on my waterline, but now I use nude, because the white, it's a little harsh. It makes you look a little animated, which is fun, but I'm kind of over that, I'm trying to be more uh, natural. So I go on with this nude pencil, just line my waterline, see the difference? Yeah, I like it. Um, do it on the other eye. Look what I did. Look what I did. I rubbed foundation on my chin. We're just gonna blend it in, guys. We're just gonna blend it in. Just blend it in. Make it work. I wish I did it on this side where I have a pimple. It's fine. Yeah. Note to self, next time have a makeup wipe on hand. Wow, that's actually something I've never done before. Or I have and I haven't noticed it. Wouldn't be surprised. So then I do the nude liner. Go in with some mascara. This one is the Sumptuous Extreme. It's from Estee Lauder. Um, mascara on me. We've had a long, rough history. I mean, I've yet to find one that I'm in love with. Of course I like the Lancome, um, Voluminous, whatever, the cult favorite. But I'm trying to broaden my horizons because I'm so used to what I look like with it on that I wanted to change it up. So I got this. I tried it at the mall and I really liked it. So bought it. I just feel like it's, it's not dramatic. It's a really good formula and I sweat a lot and the L'Oreal one, whenever I sweat, I end up with black stuff all over my face. Now this isn't waterproof, but this one just is more durable throughout the day because I know waterproof isn't really good for your eyelashes or so I've heard. So I try not to use waterproof, but I do sweat. So, you know, I don't want that to... I don't like black under eyes. I already have them naturally. The last thing I need is give them to myself. See, I just got a little on my face. Kind of cute, kind of looks like a little beauty mark. I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I also just don't have anything to clean it up with. Oh, hold on, my boyfriend's calling. My boyfriend is calling. Hello? No. Brad, can I call you back? Okay, bye. Sorry. Okay. So, um, yeah, just, that's basically it. This is what I would do if I was rushing out of the house. And then, since I have dry, crusty lips most of the time, since my skin's so dry, I go in with this MAC Velvet Teddy, which I've used since I was 18, because Kylie Jenner. You know, when she lied about her lip injections. I just found this color that matches my lips and that's why it looks so big. 
Same. Um, so, I like it. And then I'll either, I love Dior lip glosses the best. Also, luxury makeup product that's totally worth it. Today, I'm feeling um, simple, so I'm just going to use the clear lip plumping one. But this one that's like dark and shimmery also is really pretty. But yeah, guys, that's literally it. Um, that's my makeup routine. That's what I do every day to feel pretty. This is it up close. This is it far away. This is it from the side. Um, I'm going to link everything down below and I'm going to post more often and this was really fun and I totally just got all this foundation in my hair. So I'm going to go take care of that. Thanks for watching. Bye.